Hello farmers, it's River here again, and we are back as promised in the same exact position to start episode two of Farm Manager 2018. So we made a little bit of a mistake in the fact that we didn't realize that our silage wouldn't work if we didn't have any more grass than, than we have. So in the warehouse we only have 170 kilograms of grass. So, yeah, um, not sure what to say, other than I think I might fast forward the video here real quick. All right, well, that's finally done. If you look, it took about a month of in-game time. So the fact that they didn't give us enough grass, maybe, I don't think we dilly-dallied that much. I know I fast-forwarded more than you might at home. But in the meantime, our strawberries became ready to harvest. The soil humidity is very low, so that's sort of an issue. We probably should get that watered, even though we can't, because they're ready to harvest. So maybe we can hope for some rain. This guy doesn't have anybody in there. So let's go back to setting her to work and see if she manages to actually get two units of silage made, right? I'll grow two cows. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. To you. So, all right, let's fast forward again. What's she doing? Yeah, she's resting. Yep. So she had to go over there to figure out that there was not enough. So she comes back over here. I don't know. Is she taking the long way? Maybe because she's taking the paved roads. So there we go. All right. So now we got more than. The, yep. I could just see something happen there. Yep. There we go. Hey. Can I shrink? Slow this down. I'd like to be able to slow that down. I think we're paused. Hey, we're on chapter two. Woohoo! All right, so a month later, one small chicken coop and one small silo. All right, so let's slow this thing down. So we need to figure out a chicken coop location, huh? Chicken coop, the workers need to be close near it. You know, just like any other thing, because they'll be going back. And it should also be close to our warehouse, I think. So why don't we extend our little road here? over towards the house might as well just keep going past the house and we'll come here and animals and small chicken coop why can't we build those things unavailable in current scenario no oh, so they really are limiting us aren't they i'm going to just because i'm still afraid it's going to glitch out put our small chicken coop right there and the silo I think I'll put right next to here since that's oops that's not that's not the construction menu storage small silo yeah we'll put that here and then we'll put another road going this way yeah see that yeah, we'll knock that tree down. All right, there we go. So let's speed it up until those things are done. Now, our cows may be getting happier. I don't really know. I wonder if they need apples to be happy enough to inter to interbreed. 
We'll have to see. There we go. So we got a small silo. And I'm working on the chicken coop. And we got the chicken coop. Oh, I see. We got little dots. So we're on second dot here. Just notice that. Nice chicken coop. A new worker to take care of. She should know how to handle eggs. Assign one employee to the small chicken coop. Fix the farm owner's... What? So let's pause. But we already fixed the farm owner's house. Hmm. All right, I guess we got to fix it again, huh? Well, whatever. All right, so oops, we'll pause in the game there. All right, so we have these employees and this guy's already taking care of our cows. I actually want to see, maybe we could even replace him. And here's what I'm talking about. See, this guy is a five out of five animal handler. We're going to hire him. And we're going to look for another good uh, animal handler that just has one thing. Now, we didn't get any, right? So we're going to close this, and then we're going to open this guy again. And we're going to look again. See, his guy's a four out of five. He wasn't there before. I'm pretty sure I would have noticed. And... Yep, that's it. So, I guess you could be more fancy about it. But this is good enough. Fours and fives are pretty good. So what we're going to do is come over here. And working at the small cow shed. This is another annoying thing. Like, I wish you could, like, release him when he was working. Right, but we can't like relocate or fire them. But what we can do is come here and choose. Let's put the four out of five guy on the chickens, and because the cows seem to make you more money. There we go. So we got to the next thing. So now you have to buy at least four chickens for it to pay off. Okay, well, we'll do that. So come here, one, two, three, four. All right. And they'll get delivered. If you come over here to the warehouse, no, loud food. See, I don't think we have any of this. So next goal is probably gonna be to do that. Let's see, we got it now. So this, this is kind of annoying. You sort of have to sit here I think. Let's see. Can we get rid of them from here? Okay. Never mind. We can get rid of them from there. Hopefully he doesn't glitch out. So then we're going to take this guy, Louis Holland, who's costing us five forty-one, and Ernie Small was costing us more money, and he's only a level three. So we're going to go to Ernie, and we're going to fire him. How's that sound? So now if we come back to our house, what are we doing? See, this lady, you know, is is not necessarily the best working silage at the silage building for storage. It's costing us $781. So let's come back in here and come down to higher. You can also do it from that bottom screen. And we want to look for somebody. See this symbol here, manufactured? But we want somebody who just has good manufacturing. Tractor driving, nobody. So what we're going to do is close it, open it again. There you go. Well, we'll check, make sure. This guy's, oh, what happened there? Come on. <sighs> I had the guy I was going to hire. All right, so what do we got to do now? Purchase at least 100 sunflowers and 100 lupines. They have a long shelf life. Yes, they do. All right, so, oops, wrong one. Yeah, I like to hit escape. You would think that would get you out of there, but it just takes you to that other menu. All right, so what we're gonna do is come back to, yeah, see, we had the we had a good guy there. Zero, five. Man, that guy's good, but see, he's 775. So we're just gonna keep rinsing and repeating. Animal, there's a good animal lady. 
All right, come on, come on, come on. Man, this, this, you know what? I did the same thing before. Here's three out of five. Two out of five. We can train them up. But it costs you money to train them up. Where if you just get a good one from the start, it doesn't cost you anything extra down the road. Now, they do cost you more money but I don't know if, you know what I don't know is if you train someone up do they not cost you more than their original amount we'll have to check that out if we remember there you go five out of five now see she's gonna cost us 537 to do this right so we're gonna hire her we're gonna close this and we're gonna come to employees we're gonna clear her out and then we're gonna choose this person so see if we look this person costs us two hundred dollars less a month which is a good amount of money all right so now in order to purchase things we come over to here and i'm just going to type in l u lupine so we want to buy a hundred of lupine and then we're going to come here and we're going to buy sun flower seeds and we'll buy a hundred of those and that is a pretty good way of doing it. Obviously, you can worry about the prices or not, but at this point, I'm not too worried about that. Phew. Blah, 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 blah. Just don't overdo it. A field site of 10 by 30 meters is enough. All right, so plant lupine, plant corn seed, and plant sunflower seed on the field. All right, so breeding chickens. Yeah, so we're good. well. Really, we might not get a second harvest in this year, but we talked about putting our fields over here. So, and they really they don't care, but we will do a ten by thirty. How's that sound? Just because that's we we seem to be following along with what they say. I'm not quite sure why, but and what I think. Uh, yeah, let's extend this a little bit further. And then let's come up here to the field. And I think what I'll do, because there's 10 by 30. We'll skip one space. 10 by 30. Skip one space. 10 by 30. All right, so now what we want to do is we need to buy some lupine corn and sunflower all right so let's come to the market and here you can do seeds and plants so if we do lu lupine see we really aren't going to need very much so we're just going to kind of get a minimum i bet you 25 will be enough and what do we say corn And finally, the sunflowers. All right, so those are going to be delivered. And if we come over here, up, oh, did we not? What happened there? Did I mess up? Hmm. Did I not buy those? Pretty sure I hit buy. Let's check one last time because it's, it doesn't seem to have got it over us. Huh? Sunflower seeds. 25. Buy. Let's close this. Why is it not? Hmm. All right, well, you know what we can do? They really haven't talked about buying, getting more workers, huh? So we have this lady who would be a good tractor driver, but we're not, not driving tractors right now. This lady is not bad at taking care of the plants, and she would benefit the harvest, but I really don't plan on using her right now. 
So what do we have? We got our animal handlers and our other guys. So what we want to do, here's one thing you can do. Come over here, click the field, hit plow, and see we're going to need about four people to work this field. So let's hire four people over here. And at this point, we'll try to get people that are good with their arms. You know what? This guy, Jamie's good enough. Let's uh, close this, open it again. She's pretty good, but she gets expensive because she's got two things there. There you go. Freddie Payne. Nice name. Darcy Morgan. And one more. Let's just make sure nobody else in this group is better. Nope. Alright, so now let's come here, tell her to... Tell them to plow this field. All right, so now what's going on with this? We've got lupine seed. Why can't we buy that other seed? Doesn't make any sense to me. I don't understand. See, this even says, oh, look at that. Now we got 50. I see. So why did they put it in this one? Huh. That's weird. Well, I'm glad I looked. That's all right. Sunflower seeds won't go bad. If you look at, yeah, this, this is the cell thing, but if you look at the date here, 2021, so there's a good chance. And then we could always sell it too. So it's not like, it's not like we can't sell the stuff, uh, which we probably, speaking of which, should sell. Well, by the way, we can t put this on auto trade. And this is another one I don't really understand. So we can check the cow's milk. You know, I don't understand what this is. Like, if this is the amount you should keep. Um, because when I put this up to 100, it's like they didn't sell it all. So I, I don't really understand that. But it doesn't matter. Even if we put this on here, it's just it will sell it before it goes bad. We could do the same thing here. I don't know if that's an over, like if it gets over a certain amount you sell. Because it doesn't seem to, because... Yeah, you'd get 400 of it if you put this on 100. So it must be maybe keep 100 at all times. But in any event. Um, close that. And I'm going to come up to here again. I'm going to hit the sell button. And I'm going to just, you know, I don't know that I care. The cow's milk's up that high, but we could use the money. Eggs are down low and really don't have that many of them. And they're going to stay good for a real long time. So we might as well just wait on that. All right, so these guys are working on the field. We don't have anybody who's not productive, which is a good part of this whole exercise here. So what I think I'm going to do is I will fast forward, once again, these guys planting each of these fields here. Because, you know, I'll just, I don't know, we'll do lupine, corn, and sunflowers. How's that sound, if it matters to you? Oh, we got to get this harvested, don't we? really would like to get seasonal workers um, now would be they I think seasonal workers stay for like three months so now would be a good time you know what we're just gonna go with it I hope wow, we don't have enough money workers uh, let's take a look at houses that's garages houses yeah house for seasonal workers forty thousand dollars and it's unavailable anyway so okay well at least we hired a few more here so we got everything going i don't know if we're going to end up getting cows or not but you know i'm gonna why don't they have much grass oh because this they're auto managing to feed them mostly silage for some reason the grass field has 21 days left all right well let me fast forward we're seeing what happens when we just go through the scenario but we should also get these strawberries off the field i don't think it's not helping to leave them out there so i will probably jump off of this plowing and cultivating and go over there and do that oh you know what why don't we just get right on that how many we got place for one more person 
Oh, our animals are ready for breeding. Oh, good. I'm glad I didn't start fast forwarding. So here we go. Animals are ready for breeding. Oh, which animals? Oh, chickens. So if we hit show, it just opens the menu where we can come just click on here. Call the inseminator. Now, I don't know what kind of inseminator inseminates chickens, but that seems awful odd to me. <laughs> anyway, that's all you do. We come back, we'll have more than four chickens. Uh, if we come over here, let's just hire like one more person. And maybe we'll even try to get a good person who's got an arm and a tractor. Uh, let's try one more round. Like okay, we'll pay for one good person, even though I don't know when we'll have a tractor. But I do want to have a tractor person at some point here. And we'll probably need a bee person, so we might have to fire some of these people anyway. Now there's nobody. Ah, let's just get a decent tractor person. And his first job will not be on the tractor. He will harvest this. There we go. All right, so at least we'll start getting them off the field. Usually, that little field's not going to take one guy that long to harvest, I hope. All right, let me uh, let me stop and start the video. You probably won't even notice, but then I'll fast forward. Well, that was racing ahead quite a bit. I felt that enough different stuff had happened that maybe it's time to come in and take a look. Not sure if you noticed through the whole fast forward, because that was sort of a fast forward of the fast forward. Uh, real life, it was about 15 minutes. I think it'll probably take you guys less than two. But in any event, uh, we managed to harvest the field of grass a second time. So... We should be building up a fair amount of silage. Now, the guy talked about silage prices being higher. So we can come over to the market and hit the sell button and come down. By the way, the auto sell definitely is selling all of the milk and the eggs every so often. I don't know when, but um, let's take a look. Yeah, silage is up, but notice this too. You know, we need this for our cows, and at some point I'm sure we'll have extra, but... It's selling for a whopping 24 cents per, I think, what, 100? No, per unit. So 100 units is $25. So so even if we sold all of it, we're only going to get $393. So it's hardly some boom into our, uh, <laughs> into our wallets. Um, so really, we don't have much to sell, but the cow's milk and the chicken eggs are bringing in some money. And let's keep an eye on this field. Is it done yet? No. Uh -oh. What else has happened? So this field is well on its way. This one has 63 days left. You know, we're really getting off to kind of a slow start. I know I could have done some things to, 
you know, increase the speed with which we began. But at the same time, I wanted to play along with the scenario for some reason, even though I probably would have tried to do a few other things like hire seasonal workers. And But they really seem to be leading us by the uh, teeth, so to speak. So, so pretty shortly here, this field will be done and we'll be ready to cultivate it. Um, now, one of the things that happened was I ended up clicking the button and and saying plow it and then like i noticed oh wait that's a perennial plant like you know and, and then but then he never the one little line there maybe uh, i don't even know if there's a little red line but you know the fact is is that it looks like we can harvest this again huh yeah, you know what? let's put those two guys on harvesting that hmm so in any event, don't plow your perennials or else you lose them. And then I'm not sure how much this affects things. I see the crop quality is down. I'm assuming that's because it's not plowed, but at this point I don't feel like replowing it. So see this, and this is just annoying to me as well. Like there's nobody out there working the field. I don't know if anybody's going to come out. See, and then all of a sudden it, it lets you do stuff again. So we did get our lupine and this is corn so the next thing we should be able to do is plant some sunflower seeds and let's autofill so i did hire well i think i hired another worker before i started fast forwarding so we've had these two guys i put them on this field and then the other three have been doing this and now we're already into august but i think we're going to be okay i guess it I don't really know how long it takes for the sunflowers to grow. It would be nice. I mean, I'm sure, I don't know if anybody's going to come up with a wiki page, or maybe there already is one, but it would certainly be nice when you selected this. Well, it does tell you growth time there. Well, okay, there I speak, stand corrected, right? Let's do, yeah, the menu's a little bit weird. Uh, 105 days, so that's like three months. Probably almost should have planted those first, huh? But in any event, now they're going to cultivate. Oh, are they? No, no, no. They're up work. Yes. Okay, good. Planting in progress. I'm going to stop, guys. Stop, stop, stop. Don't plant. Don't plant. Don't plant anything. Good. Good. Stop. There we go. Let's cultivate it first. Oop, what happened there? Oh, so now, see, they have to go all the way back there and reset themselves. Now, the good thing is, these guys are done with the strawberries. So, uh, you know, the fact that they're done with those is kind of a good thing. We'll, uh, once these guys get reset. There we go. Now we can get all we can get four of them working on cultivating. I don't think there's going to be too much else. Now, another thing to do, let's go back here real quick to our cell. And, yeah, strawberries are worth a fair penny, aren't they? I don't know for better. I don't think anybody eats them. So you come here to allow food. They don't eat strawberries. And I guess a chicken would eat a strawberry. I mean, chickens will kind of eat anything. They're, I mean, they eat rocks. I don't, you know, I think they do that for a deliberate reason, but they're really kind of pretty stupid. All right, well, anyway, I'm not picking on chickens. You want to point out something here with the economy. If you come up here, you can look at the last month, and I find that to be pretty helpful because we started out, like last month's a pretty standard month, and it kind of gives us an idea of what, you know what our expenses were so if we keep this level of employees we need to earn four thousand plus another five hundred so that's well really forty six hundred um you know the chicken and egg semination we don't really have to do that i don't know why we got minus 85 for chicken egg is that that doesn't make a lot of sense oh unless they mean the building well you would think that would be costing the maintenance of the building so we're not going to have to inseminate chickens. You know, when it comes to our expenses at that point, well, this is about a goofy thing here, isn't it? 
Well, that's twenty-seven dollars. So four thousand six hundred, and we could take off a little bit because we're not going to have to inseminate chickens because we already got up to thirty, and I'm not planning on breeding them. There's no, you know, we'll just keep sucking up the eggs, selling the eggs, and then as far as our income goes, really not that much, two thousand. So, and it dropping, I'm, you know, a little bit goofy on these graphs. I, I think it could be done better, but again, I found to me the most helpful is to take a look at that. And if we do that over a few months, I think it'd also be nice if you could look at it month by month a little bit more easily someplace. Like, yeah, this is all fine, but it really doesn't tell you that much. And you can kind of do this number and look for your different expenses but when you got like all this road building and other stuff it's kind of hard to pick out you know what you need to get so in any event we are we are in the middle of fertilizing here and i think i'm going to call it an episode i think it's been about 30 minutes i'm trying to keep these each to to about that length of time uh, i hope you guys have enjoyed the episode and let me just pause it right here and I will give the game a save and stop the video and start the next episode shortly. So once again, I hope you've enjoyed it. Have a good day. Bye-bye.